Wet n Wild, the new foundation. It's the coverall foundation and the matching powder. Both of these were very inexpensive. This was like $3.29 and it came with a dollar off instant coupon, so literally under $3 for the foundation. And the powder was under $3 as well, so really great price, but I've never tried any of the foundation, so this is really, really exciting. I've waited <laughs> several days. I did pick this up, and it is in a haul video if you want to check that out. I will leave a link down below if you want to check out that haul. So this is the powder, and this reminds me a lot of the Revlon pressed powder. It looks like the same kind of packaging. The powder comes in eight shades, so um, the eighth shade is a little bit darker and it's a deep tan. It claims to have all day wear, radiant weightless finish, Visibrite complex reduces appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. You know, when you look at the front you think, okay, this is, this. it's going to be a circular disc full of product, but when you open it up, look, it's square. So it's kind of deceiving. <laughs> So you, it actually looks like a lot more product. And it does come with a sponge applicator, which I don't like using for powders, but it does come with that. Wow, I'm very impressed with the texture. It's very soft and very pigmented. It looks like this could be a nice coverage. It's not just a setting powder. The foundation comes in seven shades, um, all the way from Fair, which is what I have right here in Fair. And it goes all the way to Tan, which... Um, it is, they do have a nice color selection, but if you're really, really deep skin tone, you might have a hard time finding your color. This has SPF 15, it claims to have all day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight, satin matte finish, uh, Visibrite complex reduces appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. You get a one point fluid ounce of product, so that's good. So I definitely like the packaging on this. Um, I like that it's a squeeze tube and it's not like in a, a, a jar where you have to pour it out, so I like this. And it is sealed, so I'll just take that, pop that off. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Ooh, just it does come out kind of fast, so be careful. So this is what the product looks like. It looks very creamy. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of a demo for you guys and show you what it looks like on the skin. I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I'm just wearing a, um, a light moisturizer, so no makeup. So I am going to try my e.l.f. pointed foundation brush. I just want to feel it with my finger. My hands are clean, by the way. Oh, it's very, very creamy. Just look how smooth it is. And we're going to do this smell test now. It does have a scent to it. Um, it's not real, real strong, but you can definitely smell it. It's got a foundation scent. Alright, let's go ahead and give this a go. I'm just going to dip my brush in here. And I'm just going to start right here in the center of my face. Oh. Ooh, it's kind of cool. It's definitely very, it's very, very thick. This is definitely feeling like a very thick, very creamy foundation. I don't know if I got the right color because it is kind of washing me out. It looks, it feels like it's already starting to set. It doesn't feel wet, it doesn't feel dewy. It doesn't look dewy. It definitely has like a matte feel. Kind of similar to the Revlon Whipped Cream Foundation, but it's just not as good of a coverage. Not as thick, but it, it has that same kind of feel. A light to medium coverage with the first layer. It did a really good job around my eyes, coloring up any discoloration, any redness. Um, it looks pretty nice in this area. You can still see through the foundation though. So definitely if you need extra coverage, I would go for two two layers of application of the foundation. So, so far I really like the way it looks. The color, remember how at first I said it, it looked like it was washing me out, but now it kind of like settled really nice. It feels really nice and soft. It doesn't feel heavy, it's very light. I'm going to do one more layer on the same side. Okay, so I went ahead and applied another layer of 
foundation to the side and it does have better coverage you can see it's covered even more I can see a big difference in the mirror here and I'm sure you can tell on camera so this is a side with no foundation on at all and this is side with it was very easy to put on a second layer I would definitely say that this foundation is very very built buildable even though I did a second application it still feels lightweight it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't feel heavy okay so I'm gonna go ahead and apply <laughs> the rest of the foundation to the whole face because I don't want to look silly. So really quickly I will also say that with this foundation um, it definitely starts to set right away so you might want to work kind of quickly with it on your skin quickly because it does seem to set pretty fast. It does claim to be an all-day wear so at the end of the day I will pop back on here and hopefully tell you guys my final opinions about the foundation. Okay, so moving on to the powder. Um, I let the foundation sit for a few minutes and I'm going to set it with some powder. I'm using the same product, the Coverall Pressed Powder in Fair. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. Complexion Powder Brush. Uh, I wouldn't suggest rubbing because it gets all over the place. Just gently press your brush into the powder and I'm just going to gently pat this all over my skin. I like that you get a little bit of coverage with this, so it helps a little bit more. I can definitely tell that it's helped mattify, kind of make the pores look a little bit smaller. It feels very, very soft, very nice on the skin. I'm really, really liking this powder so far. We'll see. We'll see if it dries my skin out in the end of the day. Okay, guys, that completes my review and demo and first impressions and all that good stuff of the Wet n Wild Cover All Cream Foundation and the Pressed Powder. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I will put the link down below to the Wet n Wild website so you can definitely check out these products. Really, really impressed. I'm really liking the foundation and the powder. I think they work very well with each other. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed to keep up to date with new videos and put a thumbs up if you enjoyed this review. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember, smarter beauty is better beauty. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. So this is just another quick update. I remember I said I'd come back and let you know how that new foundation from Wet n Wild has held up. And I have to say I really love it. My makeup has stayed really nice all day long. And I applied it. When I did that video when I applied the foundation, it was like 12.30 p.m. And now it is 8.19 p.m. So, you know, a good eight hours or so. And... It still looks great. It feels so soft on my skin and I really like it. I like the color. I mean, it just it looks really nice. I love this foundation. I'm going to just keep using it and I really love the powder. It's super soft. I highly recommend these products. They're just really great. And yeah, but so that's my final opinion and review and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.